Tag, you're it. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tag Tuesday. And we are doing Dave's Tag from February 15th, 2015. And we were tagged by Angie on YouTube. There's 10 questions on this one. Do you think crying is a sign of weakness or strength? Do you want me to go first? Yeah. I don't think it's a sign of either. I think it is an emotion that needs to come out at certain times. At certain times, it's a sadness. At certain times, it's anger. At certain times, it's joy. I've never quite understood crying. It always seems to come out at the most bizarre times. Yeah. But real men don't cry. We don't eat quiche either. Oh, that's bull crap. Real men cry. And it has nothing to do with whether you're a real man or not. Men cry. Moving on. What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? I don't think I would do anything differently. You know, if people want to judge me for who I am and what I do, then so be it. Let them judge me. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me either. I am who I am. And I'm proud of who I am. Do you celebrate the things you have? I certainly do. I may not have a lot in life, but what I do have, I greatly appreciate it. And I celebrate it every day. And my, yes. My chapped liver over here. No, what I say, I may not have a lot in life, but what I have, I celebrate it and I appreciate it. And you are on the top of that list. Megan is on the top of that list. My family and friends are on the top of that list. But Good the safe. things that I have in life, I may not have a lot of, but I do celebrate it and I appreciate everything that I do have. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, I don't quite understand the question. Do I, just, do I celebrate what I have? Yeah, do, do you, like, appreciate what you have? Do you... Yeah, I do. Take joy in the things that you have? Yeah, I do. I'm fear, in fear of losing everything recently. Yeah, currently. What is the difference between living and existing? I can tell you because I existed for about two and a half, three years. And existing by, what, what I mean by that is I laid in bed and did absolutely nothing because of my depression and because of my pain. That was existing. Living, I am enjoying life. I am getting out of bed. I am doing things. I am seeing people. I am being with my husband every day whether it be just sitting here on the couch, whether it be we go and do something, no matter what it is, I am enjoying life now compared to just laying in bed every day and doing nothing. So, yes, um, the difference between living and existing is enjoying what you are doing every day. And I am living life now. Thank you. You're welcome. Because I would still be in that bed probably if it was not for Kevin. And Megan. Good save. What about you? I've, I've never ex just existed. I've always busted my butt for everything that I have. It always seems I'm like continuously busting my butt to keep whatever I have. So... You're always living. Ah, hold on. Be right back. Okay. If not now, then when? Always now. Always now. Because you never know if there's going to be a when. There's too much sickness and disease in this life 
to put off things till tomorrow. So, always now. Always now. Uh, have you done anything lately worth remembering? Oh, yes, I have. I, I, I think everything we do is worth remembering. Yes, yes. It's one of the reasons we vlog, I think. Yeah. yeah. Everything we do is worth remembering. My big thing right now worth remembering is going through this lifestyle journey that I'm going through, having this surgery, changing my entire life, and... I've already made so many leaps and bounds um, health-wise with this surgery, and that is definitely worth remembering. And that is why we vlog, because these are things that we always want to remember. We want our family and friends to always remember, and they can go back on YouTube and watch these memories for the rest of their lives, and their children can do the same. So, yeah. Always. What does your joy look like today? Well, our joy is overall kind of sad, but we make it as happy as we possibly can by just being together and pulling together and doing as much as we possibly can to make each other happy. What she said. Yeah. These, commercial, these questions are not making a lot of sense to me, so... I think I'm answering for the both of us. <laughs> Is it possible to lie without saying a word? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You can lie. Yes. <laughs> you can lie without saying a word. Um, your face tells a thousand stories. A lot of people hold their emotions on their sleeve, wear their emotions on their sleeve. So you can lie without saying a word, and you can also be caught with it within that lie as well. Um, if you had a friend who spoke to you in the same way that you sometimes speak to yourself, would you allow that person to be your friend? Yes, because I, I, as far as I know, I treat everybody the same way I treat myself. I would say yes, because... The things that I say to myself are things that I would need to hear even if they're brutally honest. And I would like my friends to always be as honest with me as they possibly can or as, as, as much as they have to be, even if it is brutally honest. And I would not hold that against them. And question number 10. What activity makes you lose track of time? Working in the garage, doing some woodworking or working on the house. When I was able to do woodworking, I would actually be in there all day long and not really realize how late it has gotten. And cleaning my house and decorating my house. Um, for Halloween and for Christmas and stuff like that, I will go all day long <laughs> and not realize how late it is. And I'll be asking Kevin to still be doing stuff. And he's like, you realize it's nine o'clock at night and I want to go to bed. So, yeah. I go to bed at nine o'clock. Well, I want to sit down. I want to relax. So. We have a vlog to put up. <laughs> so, th those are the ten questions. And we are going to tag Lisa Rantz, Maria Cisnero Toth, and Sylvia Phillips. Tag, you're it. And that wraps up another episode of Tag Tuesday. And we will see you next week on another episode of Tag Tuesday. Bye. Bye.